Who do y'all think would win in a fight between the current unified heavyweight champion of the world, the current Ring Magazine, WBO, WBA, and IBF heavyweight champion of the world versus the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world? Who do y'all think would win in a fight? And let's say this fight happens next year in 2023, in the first half of 2023. Who do y'all think would win? Now, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd uh, really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, before I talk about who I think would win, uh, The Ring Magazine recently spoke with uh, Alexander Uzik. Uh, and as you guys can tell by the headline, Ring Exclusive, Alexander Uzik wants Wilder Hellenius winner in 2023. Uh, so if you read the article, uh, it pretty much talks about the current situation of what's going on right now. Because if you guys don't know, um, F Fury is uh, currently in talks with Joshua for a potential fight this uh, coming December. Uh, no official word yet, but from to my understanding is they sent the contracts and now it's up to Joshua to sign the contract or not. And uh, we will find out soon if he will or not. Um, so... Basically, if you read the article, Uzik's not really too happy about that. Um, so, you know, I guess in response, he wants to fight the winner of uh, Wilder versus Hellenius. And if you guys don't know, Wilder versus Hellenius is taking place on the 15th of October over here in the U.S. over at the Barclays Center. Beautiful venue, by the way. Been there a couple times for Deontay Wilder fights, actually. Um, if you haven't watched uh, a boxing event there yet, and if you live near the area, highly recommend checking out this event. Um, Wilder versus Hellenius will be live on uh, Fox Pay Per View, and uh, yeah, tune into uh, on uh, October 15 if you want to see Wilder versus Hellenius. So he wants to fight the winner of uh, Wilder Hellenius, and I think most of us um, will be picking Wilder to win this fight against Hellenius. So if uh, Wilder beats Hellenius, a fight between Helen uh, between Wilder and Uzik, um, I guess makes sense while Josh and Fury do their thing. But you know, if you read the article, the the Ring Magazine article. Um, you know, Uzik didn't sound so happy about Fury wanting to fight Joshua. Uh, but to my understanding is the reason why he wants to fight Joshua is because Uzik doesn't want to fight this December. If you guys know, Uzik's back in his home country of Ukraine. Um, as we all know, over in Ukraine, there's a war going on right now with Russia. Um, and, uh, Uzik has been, you know, going through all this, uh, uh, of, you know, of what's going on back in his home country. He hasn't seen his family in a while. Uh, he just wants to spend time this December with his family. So he was not interested in fighting in uh, December, but he wants to fight in the first half of next year against Fury. So Fury re responded by saying, you know, since Uzik doesn't want to fight December, he wants, you know, try to try to make the Joshua fight. But still, we'll see what happens. Uh, but definitely a fight between Uzik and Wilder would make for a great fight. In my opinion, it would make for a very interesting fight. Interesting fight. Deontay Wilder is a man who can knock out anybody. Basically everyone, in my opinion, except Fury. <laughs> I think I think it's been proven that Fury uh, won't stay freaking down whenever uh, Wilder puts him down. Uh, but in my opinion, Deontay Wilder knocks out everybody else in the heavyweight division. That includes Joshua, that includes Parker, Joyce, uh, Andrew Ruiz, and... Uzik, he can definitely knock out Alexander Uzik, in my opinion. But can he land that big right hand? And in my opinion, if he lands that big right hand, it's night's night out for Uzik. And uh, as much as I'd like to say Uzik winning this fight, which I think he will if it goes a distance, for sure. For sure, if this fight goes the distance, I think Uzik will outbox Wilder, will outpoint him, will will, will outbox him, and uh, you know, uh, scoring points. But he can get hit. He's gotten hit before, and with Wilder, with that big right hand of his, it all it takes is one punch. And I, I honestly don't think this fight would go the distance. I'm I'm leaning towards Wilder by knockout. Somewhere in the middle rounds, five, six, seven. Um, but, you know, it won't surprise me if Uzik wins on points. But it's just hard for me to see how Uzik can avoid getting hit with that right hand throughout the entire fight. It's 12 rounds. 
Wilder is eventually going to land one right hand. Whether it's in the first round or the 12th round. I think he will land one right hand. And if it lands clean. Now that's the thing. If it has to land clean right on the chin and the face of Uzik. If it lands clean, I think Uzik will get seriously hurt. But that's just what I think. We'll see. I mean, we'll see, right? We'll, I mean, hopefully it does happen eventually. Uh, if not next year, I mean, if it's not in the first half of next year, maybe the second half of next year. Even if they're both no longer world champions, if somehow Uzik ends up fighting Fury and Uzik loses to Fury also, I'd still love to see this fight. I'd still love to see this fight. So, anyway, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. If, by the way, it's also a realistic fight because Uzik is now a... Uh, um, uh, he's no longer uh, contractually binded to a single uh, broadcaster. He's not contracted exclusively by the zone. So he can definitely definitely make a fight with PBC to make this fight uh, happen in the future. If, you know, if they're both serious about it. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.